just uh, wanted to say good morning and um, to stay encouraged. I had um, my last final today and um, oh my gosh, y'all, I made a hundred on that sucker and it was micro lab. Um, I will post a picture right here um, to show really just everywhere so you can kind of get a glimpse of the uh, hard work that has been going on for this semester. Y'all, it is worth every every stress and every strain. I pray that I can push into the next semester with this exact motivation and, you know, a little bit more motivation because there's tons of things that has happened. Um, but God is good um, to know that he is with you always. What he starts, he will finish. Um, so right now I'm just um, going to be um, um, just you know, just kind of relaxing and getting ready for the upcoming um, nursing program. Um, and I will be making some videos in regards to organization, um, which is key. Um, that was the biggest issue um, that I had in anatomy um, last semester in the summer. It went so quick, um, but just like I believe God is preparing me for the LVN program, it's gonna go quickly. Um, they say the first semester is pretty hardcore and um, it's like drinking from a fire station water hose. Um, it's going to come so quickly at you and it just weeds out those ones that are just not motivated, that uh, that come in with an expectation that they know everything and, uh, you know, just those ones that uh, are just not committed. Um, they're um, not, um, not a servant. Um, didn't have a servant's heart, and it will weed out those ones. And it is true, guys. These gets degrees, so I'm not going to preach, oh, you need to make A's and, you know, just know the best. Um, I've heard through experience that those ones that come in with those C's uh, from graduation and get these jobs actually know more than those ones um, that uh, just got A's to study to memorize things rather than to study to know these things. Um, because I tell you what, going through these classes, these the anatomy and um, the prerequisite for RN, the microbiology, um, I did that so I could be able to just glide right, out, right on into my BSN um, um, RN uh, program um, for the nine month, months after the LVN program. It would be just an easier transition and I wouldn't have to go back and do other classes. Um, but I said that to say that um, these classes prepare you for what's ahead and it shows you one, you need to be organized, um, two, you need to be open-minded, and um, three, as far as clinicals go, and this is just based off of people's experience that I'm just taking a note of now to be ready. Um, is to get to know your professors, uh, get to know those ones that want to see you succeed. Um, they are excited to know that you are organized, so when you do turn in things, um, it won't be, you know, like, oh, you know, it won't be like this in the workplace. Like, why is she not organized, or, she, or he, why is he not organized when it comes to, you know, the, the career, to what they want, or what they're supposed to be motiv motivated about. And so, um, that is what was teaching me along the way. Getting these A's was being organized. I had one online class, y'all, and you had to check in every Friday through Sunday. Um, you had between, I want to say either Thursday night, which was midnight, so it was technically Friday through um, Sunday at midnight. So you had to check in. Even if you did your work on Monday, you still had to check in. You still had to do discussions and forums. You still had to do exams. Um, and it was not easy. Um, but I show you these grades and just, you know, showing you what God showed me. Um, and it's just really about organization, finding time to study. And I mean, finding time to live because you're going to study all the time um, when it comes to LPN. But just finding time to actually live your life while you're going through nursing school. And I'll be making a, um, a video on that come January, probably the first week of January. Um, um, I want to do an exciting video on uh, getting my books and just getting things, uh, things preparing me 
um, how to stay organized with the things that you do have for this nursing school because there's several classes. I'm going to get all my books for the entire semester. I mean, the entire year. Uh, just get it out of the way. There's some that you don't use until like the last semester, but I'm going to go ahead and get those books um, because I do want to read ahead. I want to be prepared for my NCLEX uh, six months before I graduate. It was things like this where I had to do my TEAS test. Um, in September, but I started studying. I want to say when I started anatomy, um, and I realized this is what I need to get into the nursing program. And um, and I, I used pocket prep for those that did not um, really have the money to get books. Pocket prep kind of showed me what I was going to make on the test. It was almost exactly the almost the same average that I made on pocket prep that I made on my TEAS test. And it was not bad, so um, I was definitely accepted. And I am just encouraging you guys, you can do this. You can, you got this. Um, especially if you're a single mother, especially if you just you know, have one income coming in the home. Um, I definitely recommend this program, LPN, because this is gonna get you a job a year from now. This is gonna get you a career to get your foot through the door and get you um, excited about nursing because I tell you, if you're, you know, and, and even if you've been a CNA for 16, 20 years, um, that does not matter. Um, what matters most is what you need for you. Let me say that again, what you need for you, not what everybody else is doing, uh, not, you know, not, you know, it's not an accomplishment for any, anyone but yourself. Um, this is an individual walk that we have here, guys, and your purpose is your purpose. It just is what it is. Um, I'm taking this route because, one, this is, this is the career that I want to be in. Nursing is the career. And so I do want to start, I was a CNA years ago for three years. Um, I loved it. I loved it. I had no complaints about my job. Um, it was more about the people I was working around, but you know, I was young. So you know how that goes when you're young. Um, but you know, I'm saying all this because this is just something for you. This is not, you know, this is not a walk um, that is easy. It's not. So if you get into this and, and you know, and your mother pushed you in it or, you know, your father or a family member that's been a nurse for 20 years and, you know, you see she has all these things, don't get in it for the money. Um, you're going to be very disappointed because you're, you know, just like they say, you get underpaid. CNAs know that. You get underpaid uh, for the service you do. It has to be in your heart. Um, and that's just life in general. There are going to be things you do and you're going to be wondering, God, are you watching? You know, I give, you know, I do this and I do that and I don't even have it, but it's just out of the kindness of my heart that I do these things. And even, you know, God tells us, don't look for the reward here on heaven. Look for it and on earth. Look for it in heaven. That is where your blessing truly comes from, um, is that mansion. So I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for the, the time well spent uh, this semester and how it is going to push me um, even further into being more organized, um, taking more time out to talk to my professors. Um, I feel like I'm going to be living at TC, but um, honey, it is worth it. Um, just getting those small things, um, making sure my job is set the days that I need to work, making sure my hours are set, even if it's not precise. Organization is key. Um, and to remember to stay positive. Even if things don't work out the, thing, the, the way you wish they did, then you need to prepare yourself for the worst. Don't sit there and set this high standard. Um, and I don't, I don't mean just get by. I mean, don't over, don't overthink it. Um, because, um, I did that my last test and I, um, like just what I just took like literally an hour ago and I got mixed up on two and I got to the end and I was like, well, that's the answer right there. So I had to go back and fix those answers. And the Scantron just was like, uh, it was like, uh, I, when I turned it in, it's like, Hey, can you make sure that these answers don't get uh, plugged in wrong because my eraser just kind of was like, uh, it was sad. It's a bad eraser anyway, but I made a hundred, um, because, um, I slowed down and thought it through. Um, and this is not, it's not a race that needs to be ran fast. It just needs to be finished. It just needs to be done. So I'm just encouraging you guys as always, um, in the Lord, um, in Jesus Christ, um, so that you can get through this process because it is possible with kids. It's possible with a job. It's possible. Um, and why do I say that? Because people have done it. 
So I'm not going to disencourage myself because I have a child or disencourage myself because we only have, you know, a little bit of income or dis, you know, um, disappoint myself in saying, oh, well, you know, I have to work overnight. I have to do this. I just have to suck it up. We all do. We have to suck it up and we have to believe that this is who we are. That is your motivation is those issues you call issues. That is the motivation that God has given you to say you have to keep going. You don't have a choice. Get some tissues, cry it out, boo, and then you push on to the next round. So I just thank you because there was the times I was stressed out. You know, I was doing, you know, the most is because I'm like, ah, how do how do I do this? Um, but like I said, those grades were all A's and it is a 4.0. So I know it, it is possible. Um, and I thank you, Jesus, because even though it may not look like that in LP in school, I know that I will make it to the end. I'm just praying for you guys, um, honestly. Stay encouraged. Um, no matter what comes your way, no matter who's there, no matter who isn't there, all you need to know is what God started, he will finish. So completely trust in him. Give him give him everything, your finances, you know, your, your problem child. So give him everything and let him walk you through. Um, let him get you through this boo because he can and he will. And I just thank you so much, Jesus. I thank you so much. You're an amazing, amazing God. Um, I set a standard and I met that standard. And it was not easy. Um, there was tests that I'd failed. Um, and, but God made a way and that's what pushed me to get on up there and stop being lazy um, because it's not that I'm lazy but it's the fact that when you get off of work you don't want to do a lot um, you don't you, you want to rest you want to you know when you get up you want to take that morning coffee and pray um, and there's tons of times where you didn't you fell asleep at one or two in the morning and um, it starts all over again um, but it's something that is for God. It's not for us. It's for his people. And so we have to do what we have to do so we can set the standard and we can be good nurses. We can be amazing nurses. And, um, and, it, and it goes for CNA all the way up to PRN or, um, you know, masters or whatever it is that you want to do. God bless you. God bless you. I encourage you all the way. I pray that you encourage me. And um, I just thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good day.